over 800 years, we have kept our shores safe from invaders. And for 800 years, we have opposed every dictator who arose and tried to enslave Europe. For this is Britain, where we believe in freedom. We also believe in peace. Here is the first news, copyright reserved. Herr Hitler spoke for 20 minutes this morning. Amy, switch that off. See if you can get dance music. music on regional. He did not. The news is nothing but that man Hitler these days. Is there going to be a war, do you think? Yes, I think there is. I am speaking to you from the cabinet room at 10 Downing Street. This country is at war with Germany. You can imagine what a bitter blow it is to me. Well, that is exactly a bank holiday for us. taking a deuce of a lot of stuff with you, old man. How long do you think this war is going to last? Nothing like being on the safe side, Colvigan. Personally, I think it'll be over by Christmas. <laughs> That's what people said in the last war. Well, last time they said it'd be over by Christmas, and it wasn't. But this time it might be. Hmm. I doubt if that's very sound logic, old man. I don't like it, Kathleen. It's no use pretending I do. I know you don't, Mother. Nobody does. But there's no use in making a fuss, is there? Cheer up. There's a dear. Are you all right, Frida? Yes, thanks. If you're cold, I can run up and get you an eider down. I'm quite warm. We'll have some tea in a minute anyway, just to keep us going. of the people swings into action. The bombs have started fires. Yet the people's army ignores the bombs and the spent shrapnel which rains down constantly. Brokers, clerks, peddlers, merchants by day. They are heroes by night. My call up, Dad. I didn't know they were calling up as quick as that. Can't, can't you say you're looking after the house? Oh, I can't, Dad. I'm a mobile woman. A what? They can put me into anything, anywhere. Well, girls, most of you will be wanted in the machine shop to work on aircraft components. But first, we'll sort you out for a day or two in our training school here. Now, will those whose names I read out please stand to one side? Kathleen, run and find Mr. Forbes for me, will you? Thank you. Now, this is the machine shop. We'll all be working here. The furnaces in our foundries will not die, nor the lathes in the shop stop turning until there is no more need for these weapons of defense. Number Station Control, I'm about to engage, I'm about to engage. Number 3 attack, go! That one diving is a hurricane. No, it isn't. That's an ME-109. Like the one they brought down last Tuesday. Bobby, don't speak with your mouth full. Sunflower calling station control. Four bandits down. Four. Good work. The men have escaped in class. No casualties. Repeat, no casualties. May I have permission to return? Over to you. Over. Sunflower, Sunflower, station control. Calling Sunflower. Return at once. Good work. Four. Four. What the hell are you doing here? Well, sir, I... I thought I told you to rest. Yes, sir. Uh, that makes eight for this station, sir. I joke, yes, it does. Eight. All clear signal, sir. All clear, eh? Safe to bring them up. Okay, buzz them. London raises her head, shakes the debris of the night from her hair, and takes stock of the damage done. London looks upwards toward the dawn and faces the new day with calmness and confidence. Not all the services run as they did yesterday, but London manages to get to work on time, one way or another. Calling all workers. Thank you.
Michael will take you this morning on Rhythmic Records. <laughs> I hadn't got a mechanical mind. Maybe you'll surprise yourself. Frankly, Mr. Forbes, I don't know what you expect. I really didn't ask to be sent here, you know. I know. I don't suppose it's exactly what you've been used to, but you can't expect more than your best. If you're doing a real job now, you'll be making something. Yes. Sockets. <laughs> Where have you been? Night shift. This is a fine war. Women go out and the husbands wait at home for them. You never think there was a war on, would you? But there isn't. Not just for a minute, that is. We've got five more whole days. Mm. Flat calm. Looks like a piece of grey silk, doesn't it? Funny. I think this is such a little island, isn't it? Oh, by the way, how many mines have we laid here this morning? Well, 86. No, no. 87. Sure? Positive. Hmm. We must remember not to bathe here after the war. 420. <laughs> How's the old country looking now, sir? I feel as if I've been away for years. Well, We've been away quite a while, too. We put it up north every now and again to refuel. The country's looking much the same as usual the last time I saw it. Gentle, you know, not exactly smug. Not exactly warlike, either. There'll always be in England, eh? Well, I suppose that's as good a conviction as any. Could deal better than most, if I may say so, sir. We few, we happy few, we band of brothers. For he today that sheds his blood with me shall be my brother, be he ne'er so base. And gentlemen in England now abed shall think themselves accursed they were not here and hold their manhoods cheap while any speaks that fought with us Upon St. Crispin's Day! Absent friend. Absent friend. No, I haven't seen him now for two or three months. I don't quite know where he's got to. Oh, well. Absent friends. Absent friends. Absent friends. Absent friends. Absent friends. Absent friends. England. There are varying opinions about it. There was an Englishman named Rupert Brooke, who was also in Germany when he said, God, I will pack and take a train and get me to England once again. For England's the one land I know where men with splendid hearts may go. And women with splendid hearts, too. We must keep our land, darling. We must keep our freedom. We must fight for what we believe in. Truth and beauty and fair play. Look at the position after the last war. I remember people going to hospital on flat carts with injured spine. Now we've got our own ambulance car, our own nursing service, our own hospitals. Surely, if we can do that thing during that period, nothing at all will stop us after this war. This is the people's war. It is our war. We are the fighters. Fight it then. Fight it with all that is in us. We fight because we must for just those things that we hold so dear. We can learn from the motto of the Royal Air Force, the ardua ad astra. Through ordeal to the stars, through endeavor to triumph, through trial to victory, 